What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Flylo from Flylo Productions, and I know I've been doing some live streams of Spyro, but I have a I have a challenge today. And this challenge is to beat Spyro the Dragon without taking damage. I don't know if it's possible for these other two games, but it is possible. No, not without taking damage, without killing anybody. We're going to be doing the pacifist run. That means I can't kill no sheep. I can't. I don't know about the egg thieves. I think there might be a world where this required for you to get all the egg thieves. I don't know. But we going to see when we get there. What we're going to see right now. Is it possible for me to be Spyro the Dragon without killing anybody or any animal? The only person we can kill is Ganasty Gnork. Ganasty Gnork. Yeah. It's the only person we can kill. Let's get this stuff on and popping. And also this challenge came to me from a very close friend. Edit Wave. I will leave a link to his YouTube in the description, so make sure y'all go check him out. He's been doing a cave story run on his channel with only three hearts. Beating the game with only three hearts. Oh, y'all forgot I was playing around with the cheat code, so y'all look at that black spiral. So I think the only thing that I have to do here, because this game really focuses on getting the dragons. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the army. I don't know why, but this is like the only dragon that I can't skip. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. So yeah, you see these people that scared of you? Can't even kill them. Now my goal is to just get out the first world. So let's do that. It actually feels good to be able to play. And I can take damage and stuff, you know. Oh yeah. Ba doom doom. Do 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 do. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong, like me. Uh, sure. Never realized that they gave him a mustache. So honestly, it's not really hard to do this. Well, at least for the first area, it won't really be hard. Honestly, only thing I could tell you is I think to just get all the dragons. I'm gonna let the dragons cutscenes play out. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. I really like that dragon design. Spyro, my friend, how about a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump and try pressing the action button to drop down mid flight. Do, 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 do. You're actually going to have to be careful when sprinting because you can run into a sheep, and that will means that you killed something. After you've freed all the dragons, 
pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger, it'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! All right, so yeah, that's basically it. Okay, I think it's about time we skip past this loader screen. Never mind, the loader screen was already done. Proved me wrong. Hey Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide. And and don't be afraid. Afraid of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. You no, know, it would have been really dope if they kept if the Chico let him stay black in the cutscenes. All right, welcome to Town Square, everybody. Now, the only time I will actually skip something is probably like the loading screens. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that. Oops! Accidentally clicked triangle. That was an excellent. Ah. I feel like you can actually use that to get up high and get to that location right there. I want to see something. Yep. All right. <laughs> I didn't think that was actually going to work. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I have the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did I do you too. know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? Really? He must be teaching us that for some odd reason. Does the egg thief really counts as an enemy? That's my question. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress by accessing the guidebook through the pause menu. See a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run. <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. <laughs> Was that all the dragons? I feel like it was. No. Okay. So the reason why I'm not doing like everybody else is just, and just uploading full gameplays. Because I feel like I knew everybody was going to do that once this game was released. So, I'm just like, I'm going to just do little challenges and stuff. But I mean... I do understand this was everybody's childhood. That's perfectly understandable. Okay, this might be a hard level to get through. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint their metal armor is fireproof. 
but a charge attack will take care of them. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So I may not be able to get this dragon. We don't see. There's gotta be a way to slide past one of these. Let's see, can I just... Oh! I don't know how I'm gonna get back, but I did that. <laughs> what? We making a breakthrough, everybody. Right here. I need to get him to run up here. And now... <laughs> Spyro, want to know a secret? Use the action button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. All right, so now we got to find a way back. Okay, made a break there. Come on. Just go on the side. All right. Okay. And then there's another dragon. At least I think there's another dragon over there. There most definitely is not. Like this north with the club cannot be charged, but a quick flame that should defeat them. All right. And now, honestly, if we wanted to, we can go on to the next world. But I feel like it's only right to get every dragon. So, let's go over here. Let's get this dragon. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him! Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. All right. Well, I guess the other quick way of getting around is rolling. The artisan's boss is through a portal behind me. You can challenge him now, if you feel you are ready. All right, so now, the thing about the boss. In order to get to the goal, in the boss level, you must kill the boss. And I was actually, I was thinking about that while I was brewing up the idea to do this little thing. So honestly, looking at speed runners, this was their way of doing it. Steen Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on! 
I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. So instead of going up in there facing Toasty, he just exit the level. Plain and simple. All right, and now let's take a look. We got all the dragons. In this world. Wow! I see you've been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. Yes. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world. Are you ready to go? All right. I know that wasn't a long gameplay, but honestly, the first world isn't that tricky to beat without killing anybody. But I'm going to end it right here. Thank y'all for tuning in. If y'all like this video, then please do your boy a favor. Hit that like button. And if you're going to subscribe, then I suggest you watch some of my other videos before doing so. I really don't make content that's appealing to everybody. So if you was to bless me with a subscribe, check out another video. If you like that, then subscribe. And let me know what you think about the gameplay. Do I need to fix my mic skills? Do I need to work on my communication skills? Let me know your feedback down in the comment section below. But until the next video, take it easy. Keep it breezy. And hitting that subscribe button is easy peasy. I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Peace.